We got a video today, Canon 70D. I pointed this out a few weeks ago as the best bargain budget camera to get started with. So let's see why. So the 70D, I had a video out a week or so ago. You guys probably seen it. I recommended it as one of the best budget beginner cameras available. And I know there are a lot of other cameras that can compare. There's other cameras that are maybe a little bit better, maybe a little bit worse. But the one thing this camera offers is photo and video. There's a couple of photo only cameras that I would have put ahead of this, but taken in the fact that so many people want video and photography from their camera today, especially if you're starting a YouTube channel, that I just couldn't find a better deal in my opinion for a camera. I mean, this thing, this camera was put out in July, 2013. It's 20 megapixels, seven frames a second, It'll do HD video. It don't do 4K, but HD for 2013 was pretty good. Got the touch screen back, the flip out screen, dual pixel autofocus. The shutter has 150,000 shutter cycle life. So that's a pretty good deal. A lot of cameras were around 100,000. This was one of, not the first, but one of the first cameras to come out in Canon's line with 150,000 in this type of camera. Usually to get, you know, two, 300,000, you had to move into the high end, very high end pro expensive cameras, but this camera jumped up to 150,000, which is ahead of some of its earlier competitors. Being the 70D, of course, at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, this is the seventh camera in line of the D camera. It's also weather sealed and has face detection. So this is quite a lot for 2013. And the cool thing is today you can get one at KEH. I looked right before I made this video, now, KEH changes on a daily basis. They buy and sell constant, it's a constant rotation of cameras coming in and out. But before I started this video, I looked, 257, they had one. It was a bargain rating, but I found with KEH, as to be the case with a lot of people, that, uh, not a lot of people, but a lot of companies that sell with their rating systems, bargain, I don't know about you guys, but when I get most bargain stuff in, I would rate it much higher than that. So, you know, props to KEH and different places that rate their cameras like that. So, you know, you don't have to spend $800 on a camera you can get a you can buy the budget line and save a few hundred dollars that's what i recommend doing and you've got a short time in there that if it comes in and it is really a piece of crap which i highly doubt from keh you're going to get a piece of crap but if a mistake can be made by anybody if you get one like that you got i think 14 days to return it and you get a six month warranty on it have very little room for errors that, that you're going to make a mistake buying a camera you got the return policy you got the warranty you know, you're covered. And then you can buy the extended warranty. Now, I very rarely buy extended warranties. On the occasional thing, I'll buy an extended warranty, but it's not something I don't, you know, like if you go to Walmart and different places, they want to sell you an extended warranty on a $20 mop you just bought. You know, anyway, I'm just kidding about the mop, but you know what I'm saying? Everybody wants to say an extended warranty. I'm not a big extended warranty person, but for certain things, I am. So back to the 70D. This camera you know, it's only got one memory slot, but it does take the new SD, well, they're not new anymore, but at the time it was new, the SD cards, the old ones used to take the compact flash cards. But the pictures that you can get with this 70D, I mean, two generations prior to this, they made a 50D, and we shot, I'm guessing, probably 200 weddings at least with just the 50D as our main camera. And, you know, I think that around the 50D, I think that was, I think the 5D Mark II was probably out with the 50D at the same time. And it did have better low light, but you know, we were booking weddings left and right using the 50D. So hey, people are buying it and they're happy with it and it looks good to me. Why spend the money? Another thing I like about the 70D is it has the LED screen on top. I really miss that. That's one thing I miss with a lot of the new mirrorless cameras. Now some of them have it, but just not all of them. I love being able to look down the top of the camera and you can see right there. And if you're in the dark, you just hit the light up button and it lights up the LED screen instead of having to dig through the screen on the back and look through menus and that sort of thing. I always like being able to glance down at the LCD. It's not a, something I have to have. My Canon R6 doesn't even have it, but if it's there, it is something that I enjoy having. But anyway, let's get on with this video about 70. What we're going to do, I had a few models lined up, but it was short notice. So they both had to change. So my dear sweet wife volunteered to jump in and pose for me again. Now, what we're doing when we're doing these pictures, this is a camera review. So the pictures we're gonna do, they're not how to do a photo shoot. There's some of them I'm cropping in really tight that you would never crop, you would never shoot that way for a customer. I did that so we can crop in on the eyes and look at it. So don't view this as a how to do a photo shoot, review this as a camera review. So take that into mind when you're looking at the pictures. So we're going to jump in. 
and we're going to show you guys. I won't run through the whole video of you guys. We'll show a little bit of the video. I had the camera set off to the side while I was shooting. Uh, I don't want to make you guys sit there while we go through the entire shoot, but I'll show you some clips, and then we'll run the pictures. We'll have a look at it. We'll come back. We'll talk. We'll see how they look. And like usual, I'll ask for you guys' opinion and have a look at the end of the video. So let's jump into the shoot. All right, guys, we are in the studio. This is a camera test of the Canon 70D. It's more of a camera test and how to do a photo session. I'm only using LED lights and I can get into the LED versus strobes eventually, but that's another video for another day. Today we're just testing our camera, so let's see what it can do. There you go, that looks good. It's weird getting back to these older cameras that, again, that you have to find your focus point on, being so used to uh, the new mirrorless technology. Very good. That's very pretty. I like that. Focus back. I forgot how much it took to get focus on these things. <laughs> Find the freaking dot I want. There we go. Good. Now, again, these pictures are not how to do a photo shoot. This is a camera test, so you would never shoot a photo like that for a client. This is a camera test, so just keep that in mind as we go. So let's get a few more of these, and I will put them up on the screen. There you go. Now lose the smile, close your eyes, go one, two, three. Hey guys now what did you think about that showed a few clips of the shoot i showed the pictures showed some cropping i think it looks pretty good i really do even when cropped in i think it held up pretty good and just fyi i shot it all with the sigma 24 to 105 f4 and we were using led lights i didn't even use flash now there are reasons you don't want to use LED lights as your main lights in your photography studio, but that's a video for another day. If you guys want to hear the difference between LED and strobes, I'll be glad to make one, but that's not part of this review. So moving along. Here's the deal with the pictures you just saw. If you liked them and you thought they were pretty good, I agree with you. But here's the catcher. All those pictures you just saw were shot on the Canon 30D. Think about that for a minute. This is an eight megapixel camera that's right at 20 years old. And we got those quality images from a Canon 30D, 8.2 megapixels, which people would not even look at a camera anymore if it's eight megapixels. That's a piece of junk. You couldn't possibly print a four by five with that. But yes, they were shot on the 30D, a really old camera. The 30D is eight megapixels. It has a 100,000 shutter life expectancy, which is 50,000 less than the 7D. It doesn't have face detection. It's not really good under high ISO. Most of these images were shot around ISO 200, maybe two, maybe a quarter stop above 200, but they were all less than 400 and nothing below 200. So we got to keep it in the range. So we shot those with the Canon 30D using the 24 to 105 F4 lens. So now that we have seen what in an even older camera, that's only eight megapixels, not 20, what it'll do, let's see what the Canon 70D will do when we're using it. So let's take a look. Now certainly if the pictures look like that good off an eight megapixel camera, the 20 megapixels should really be awesome. So let's take a look at that. <laughs> Okay, guys, there you go. There is the review. 
and images to look at from the Canon 70D. At that time it was shot with the 70D, but how many could tell a whole lot of a difference between the 30D and the 70D? Was there anybody that saw the images from the 30D and thought, that looks like crap, I would never buy that? Was there anybody, did you see those first set of images and think, wow, this is garbage, I wouldn't buy that? Or did you think they looked pretty good? Did you see a big difference between the 30D and the 70D? Did you see much at all? 8 megapixels, 20 megapixels. Did you see a difference, honestly? Did you see a difference in the cropping? Now, under low light, neither one of these are going to shine. I mean, this is 70 to 20 megapixel, uh, 2013, so it's about 11 years old. It's crop sensor, so it's not going to shoot like my Canon R6. Camera Decisions, I don't know if you guys ever use CameraDecisions.com, but they have a rating system for all kinds of different settings in your camera. You can pair them side by side and it brings you up a long list. I think the ISO on this one, low light, is around 500. It's terrible. If you go above 400 on this, you are in trouble. You got to stay at 400 or lower on the 30D for most things. The 70 deal going up, you're okay 800 or less. You'll be fine. But I think this one gets around an 834, I think, number rating on the camera decisions, where my Canon R6 is like 3,500. So that's like two and a half stops better than the 70D. And actually, I believe it to be a whole lot more than that because I can take my Canon R6, run up to 12,400, with very little grain, where I try to keep the 70D below 800. And that's a lot of stops between there. 800, 1,632, 64, 12, 8. So that's quite a few stops. But that's what I see. That's just what camera decision posted. So anyway, did you guys like the way this Canon 70D looked? Uh, one thing about both of these cameras that I see constantly is the amazing color science that Canon has in these older cameras. I mean, to make up for the low megapixel count, to make up for the small sensor, the color science is fantastic on these cameras. I mean, who doesn't love Canon color science? It's absolutely beautiful straight out of the camera. Now, would I shoot a wedding today with the Canon 70D? Not as my main camera, not because it's not capable. It's because I have a Canon R6 and then I have a Canon 6D. Um, those are the main few I use. And then for receptions, I use my Lumix D9 after we cut the cake because then it's mostly dancing pictures. Nobody's going to order, you know, 30 by 40 of anything after you shoot the cake unless, you know, you have a big family group shot. Maybe somebody was late coming in. They come in and want a big family group shot of 30 or 40 people. But then all you have to do is switch back to your R6 or whatever, and you'll be fine. And But worst case scenario, you could go back to the 70D. It'll be fine. You put a flash on it so you don't have to shoot available light, so you don't have to really worry about going to an extreme high ISO. So anyway, that's the video, guys. But I did, a few weeks ago, I did say that I thought the 70D was one of the best cameras you could get started with as a beginner. So I'm going to stick with that because it really is a great camera. Uh, things I would change on it. Well, it's 11 years old, so there's a lot of technology that has advanced since then. It doesn't have the new incredible focusing like the new R line of cameras that Canon has. Uh, it does have the flippy screen. It has pretty much everything you need to take pictures. So I think it does a fantastic job. It wouldn't be my main choice to shoot a wedding, but if it came down to it, it could be done. I doubt that anybody would really notice, except for me and you guys that were looking at the pictures. We can see these details that your bride and your customers, just they're not looking for that. They're looking for pictures of them. They're looking for smiles. They're looking for expressions. They're looking for, did you get me and my best friend from high school from 12 years ago? Or did you get this shot of whatever? My granddaddy, who's, you know, the guy only got a short time to live. That's the sort of thing they're looking for from their wedding pictures. They're not looking at their pictures and seeing if there's any purple fringing in the corners or see what your grain looks like. Your brides are looking for them. So anyway, guys, that's me. That's my opinion. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry to mess with you guys on shooting the first set with the Canon 30D and not the 70D, but it popped into my head and I thought this will be fun. Let's see if we can see how much of a difference. So really, we ended up doing a comparison between the Canon 70D and the 30D. So anyway... That's it. I'll wrap it up. You guys let me know what you think. If you have either one of these cameras or you have any questions on, you're thinking about buying one or whatever, you you know, if you have any questions on anything photography related, drop it down at the bottom or you can send me an email and I'll be glad to help you guys. I will leave a link to KEH. They're one of our affiliates and uh, you just can't go wrong with KEH with their warranties and the return policy. 
I've been buying from them since 1983, never had an issue. That's a long time to not have an issue with a company, but I will leave their link down at the bottom if you want one of these. It's our affiliate link. So if you buy from them, our channel will get a few bucks, but it helps us keep making these videos. So appreciate it guys. Give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. You guys have a good day. Thanks. Hey guys, we're in KH's showroom right now. As you can see, they have a lot of cameras in the showroom. Uh, KH is a new affiliate of ours, and one thing I love about KEH is I have used them since 1983. That's a lot of years I've been using KEH, never had an issue. I can't recommend any company higher than I can recommend KEH. In all those years, we've never had any issues. So if you need a camera or need to sell your gear, check out KEH.com, and they'll do a good job for you. Y'all have a good day.